Been feeling trapped down on the floor I don't know what for Feels like I'm gonna lose Silence takes a hold I can't let it go Chain up, no one knows But I won't let the storm Welcome be back to the channel Thank you so much for clicking if this is your first time seeing this face please go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you're an old subscriber thanks for tuning into the vlog so this is my well my first thing Benin I just woke up I literally just woke up it's 1 6 p.m. and I just woke up from my hectic journey last night into this morning I have a tour at 2 p.m. they just had me breakfast I am gonna get ready I'm gonna have the breakfast and then finish getting ready. Luckily, I came in at, at like five something, almost six something this morning. So yeah, I don't need to, and I showered then, so I don't need to shower again. So yeah, that's gonna save me some time. But they just served me breakfast. This is what I got for breakfast, papaya, and there's a bread roll here. I'm not sure what this is, but I'm going to try it. Some jam and I think this is the tapioca. I have no idea. I'm not sure what this is. This is possibly some wine or juice. I'll let you know once I try it. But yeah, I'm going to quickly have breakfast and then get ready. Guys, guess what? The red juice is actually sorrel or sobola as they call it in Ghana. I don't, I don't know what they call it here, but my taste buds are happy. Okay guys, so I'm finally ready. Just in ready. A little bit later, I was supposed to leave at 2, but it's now like 2.15. I'm just heading up, but whatever. That's why I love solo trips. You can kind of, you know, like do your own timing and stuff like that. So this is my outfit of the day. A very simple outfit. It's just a jumpsuit. Yep. Now I'll be going on a bike, so perfect attire. Anyways, let me go meet my guide downstairs. Already downstairs. Her name is Jan. She's waiting on me. So let me. Hi right, guys. So this is my beautiful guide, Jan. Say hi, Jan. Hi. So what are we gonna do today? Uh, we're going to visit six places here in Cotonou. Mm -hmm. First of all, we go to the biggest uh, markets of mm -hmm. the public called Nantokpa. Mm -hmm. After that, we are moving to the handmade markets. Okay. We see different uh, things, wrapper, and uh, after that, we visit the Amazon place. Mm -hmm. the second biggest uh, stature in Africa mm -hmm. after that we visit the Biogera street stature okay. it's uh, the representation of the kings that fought against colonization mm -hmm. after that we are going to see the graffiti wall it's a graffiti wall that shows uh, many celebrities of Benin and Africa Okay. after that uh, going to a local place to eat as it asked okay all right. all right guys so i thought we're actually going on a bite but we're not we're going to take a tuk tuk y'all yes. know how much i love tuk tuks right so <laughs> yeah this is all right for today yeah. yay hello The first stop we made was this statue. It's of a priest who fought for freedom. But it was a freedom fighter based on 1856. I don't remember his name, but yeah. Next, we walked by the graffiti wall. This is a must see for all art lovers. This wall features paintings and murals from many Beninese um, artists. Amazon warriors, Ag Ag Agoje, Agoje, in the Woman King, 
of the kingdom of Dahomey were actually like real life warriors. Dahomey was the first name or the original name of the Republic of Benin and I am at the statue. All right, so hold on, let me just give you a better view of it. If the sun is sunning, guys. I can't help it. It's always sunny in Kotono. But let me see how best I can show you the statue. Let's listen to the history of how these women became the warriors of Dahomey, the Agoje. He's the sister of Gezu, the king of Dahomey before. So she started fighting for a king, for her brother. She started gathering other women. When they go for war and they win the war, she takes uh, the captive, the slaves, they got from the other tribes. Then she, she trained them to become warriors. And every time they go for war uh, against other tribes, they always win. These are women they call Amazons. In Fongbe, they call them uh, Agojie. Wuzu! 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 got a wrapper from this lady behind me oh I can't see her yeah I already got a wrapper from the shop so I'm gonna go around and show you what they have on offer in this market Tokpa the biggest market in Benin yes uh, and it's the biggest market in Benin so I'm gonna show you what they have on offer around the same time yes same okay all right so what do you put on it um condensed milk and butter 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 yeah. uh, uh, so she's just putting some butter on yeah. that's it this bread is super super soft yeah one gained their independence from um from france in 1960 but in 1977 the french still came back who were looking to recolonize their country and there were some um soldiers and citizens who went in the fight so seven soldiers died and one um regular citizen so they've built this monument that i'm going to show you to um just to honor them guys you cannot tell that i can't speak french the monument uh, i don't know what the rest of it says <laughs> i do not know what the rest of it says guys the sun is sunning so i hope you can see it it says here matchers those french colonizers just did not want to give up so this is a market a traditional market i do not remember the name list so these french names are killing me so i'll put the name running across the um the, the screen after but they sell lots of traditional stuff here so you can get traditional games 
and like basket this basket looks so very cute baskets i see paintings i see some bags all of these good stuff this one is very unique ah oh. i wonder how much they cost these are some very unique paintings i see some jewelry over there as well statues anyways i'm gonna go explore and see if i want anything if i'm gonna be getting anything all right so next we went to fidjobse i know i did not pronounce that properly beach janet's tired of telling me how to pronounce it but i'm not getting it right so so you see people playing beach football you have vendors <laughs> guys my ears i'm hearing all this french I don't watch TV. Don't see over there. Do you know this? No, what is it? Suya? Suya? It's a um, beef meat. Oh, I don't eat beef. Chachanga? Uh, is it very good? Very good? Mm. Spicy? Yeah. Mm, you can see all the pepper. How much do you want to buy? <laughs> I don't eat beef, sorry. It's chicken. Or... It's not it's chicken. Okay, it's not chicken. Okay. So this is a chicken. One of these chicken. So he said it's chicken, so I'm gonna try one skewer. How much is it? Hmm? How much? One hundred. One hundred. Okay. This is really good guys. We stayed at the beach until the sun set and we were not disappointed. So last stop of the day, we're gonna try some the local local some food, street food. So we're at this little spot here, and this is where we're gonna sit. I have no idea what I'm gonna get to eat, so I'm leaving out leaving it up to Jan to decide. Okay. All right. So let me try this. What's it called? Abolo. A blue. A blue. <laughs> Listen, guys, me and this French thing that work, you know, this is tomato stew, right? The canned tomato. The ablo tastes nice, not sure about the sauce as yet. Right, let me try the pepper. And the um the onions. One thing about Benin, they know their spices. It also came with this fish. Is the fish fried or just dried? Fried. Fried fish, some fried small fish. Not 
bad. All right, guys, I'm late. I'm gonna finish eating. Guys, I just got back to the hotel. Day one in a Benin. Kotonu Benin is a wrap. And I had an amazing, amazing time. Dan is an amazing guide. And I can't wait to see what we do tomorrow. But I'm tired. I have an early start to the day tomorrow. And I know how difficult it is for me to get up. So I'm going to go shower and go to sleep now. Um, yeah, if you've watched the video to this far, thank you for watching. And if you haven't subscribed as yet, go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next vlog. Bye. I was worried you blow up my reputation. But the figure is not on me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The way you're making me shiver, your hands on my silver, keep pulling the trigger. Right. This very thing for people like that.